from the Alex Trebek stage at Sony Picture Studios, this is Jeopardy! Introducing today's contestants, a high school student from Boston, Massachusetts, Jake Buoneri, a floor associate from Waterbury, Connecticut, Logan Cote, and our returning champion, a game show host from La Follette, Tennessee, Brian Henniger, who's one day cash winning total $15,200. And now, here's the host of Jeopardy, Samuel H. Hello, everybody. We are back. Oh, glad to be back after a very long day. Uh, Logan and Jake, welcome to the stage. Brian, welcome back. Without further ado, let's get into the game, shall we? Let's do it. Here are the yeah. categories for the Jeopardy round. Parts of the whole. 20th century America. Foreign geographic terms. The Prez says. Types of streets. And finally, TV dinners. Brian, since you're our returning champ, you get to select first. All right, I'm going to take uh, European geographic terms for 600, please. Geographic terms for 600. Here's the clue. I'm In Dutch, Berg. Brian. What is city? No, sorry. Mountain is what we were looking for there. Brian? Okay, get out of that. Uh, parts of the hole for 600, please. Here's the clue. Hammer, damper pedal, keys. Brian. Order parts of a piano. Correct. Parts of the hole for 800, please. Here it is. Phone clamp, extendable monopad, shutter button. Jake. What is parts of a camera? No, sorry. Brian. Mm. Order parts of a selfie stick? Correct. Oh. Uh, 1,000 parts of a hole, please. Daily double. How wow. much would you like to wager? <laughs> I'll bet 1,000. 4,000. Here is the clue. Envelope, burner, basket, or gondola? Order parts of a hot air balloon. That is correct. Where are we headed? Um... Let's try the Prez says for 600, please. Prez says for 600. Here's the clue. Two, absolute freedom of navigation upon the seas. Logan. Who is Adams? No, sorry. Brian or Jake? Brian. Who is Woodrow Wilson? Yes, that is correct. One of his six points. Uh, 14 points, I thought. Anyway, uh, Prez says for 800, please. Here's the clue. It depends on what the meaning of the word is, is. Brian? Who is Bill Clinton? That is correct. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you'd be back. Uh, the Prez says for 1,000. Here's the clue. What he said in his inaugural. We admit of no government by divine right. What he should have said. I need to have your coat. Brian. Who is William Henry Harrison? That is correct. I died in 30 days. Um, let's try the Prez says for 400. Here's the clue. The release of atomic energy is a new force too revolutionary to consider in the framework of old ideas. Jake. My finger twitched. Oh, God. Um. Pass. I don't know. I, I did I, Pass. Yeah, I, did, I didn't mean to click it. Logan? Who is Dwight D. Eisenhower? No, sorry. Oh. Brian? Who is Truman? That is correct. Oh. Uh, the Prez says for 200. Here's the clue. In a transcript. In a transcript. I want you all to stonewall it. Brian? Who is Lincoln? No, sorry. That would be Nixon. Brian? 
uh, TV dinners for 200 Here's the clue. Glenn and Abraham somehow sit down to dinner at the end of this show's season seven premiere. Correct response. What is The Walking Dead, Brian? Uh, TV dinners for 400 please. Here's the clue. At a Big Bang Theory dinner, this character complains to Amy that Xbox One was released after Xbox 360. Logan. Who is Sheldon Cooper? That is correct. Okay, um... Let's jump to 20th Century America for 200. 20th Century America for 200. Here's the clue. On April 16th, 1963, he wrote, I am in Birmingham because injustice is here. Brian. Who is Martin Luther King? Who is Martin Luther King? We are going to give it to you. Okay. Uh, TV dinner 600, please. Here's the clue. Law enforcement issues come up at the Reagan family Sunday dinners in many episodes of this CBS drama. Logan. What is Blue Bloods? That is correct. You're out of the hole. Um, back to 20th Century America for four. Here's the clue. We weren't at war yet when this organization was founded in 1941, but it was soon busy making the troops' lives better. Brian. What is the USO? That is correct. Okay, back to TV dinners for 800, please. TV dinners for eight. Here's the clue. On this show, when Edith told a dieting Archie he's only allowed one zucchini, he replied, Who the hell wants more? Brian. What is all in the family? That is correct. And with that, that takes us to our first commercial break. Brian, you will select the clue right after this. clear and also uh players please dm me a fun fact about yourself because we will be doing the interview portion okay let me go ahead and that's do that cool real quick. some <laughs> things just never change brian in the lead Hello! We are back with more Jeopardy! Jake, it says here that you play European handball. Tell us more about mm -hmm. that. Well, I played with my, with a club from Boston. Um, but yeah, it's it's a pretty physical sport, but it's really fun, too. I, I had to stop because it's kind of far away from where I live, and I can't really go to practices. Yeah. But when yeah. I get in my own car soon, I'm going to try to come back to it and just mm -hmm. you know have fun with it yeah uh thanks for thanks for that good luck to you tonight uh logan it says here that you've been a dungeon master for a little over four years tell us more about that well ever since i got uninterested in the idea of dungeons and dragons as i wanted to do um D, D myself so i started yeah. out as a player 
there, and then here I am. I'm now I'm not only as a potential player, but also a dungeon master for almost four years now. Oh, and I want to sort of said was, was I've been a D and D player or slash dungeon master for four, mm -hmm. for a little over four years now. But hey, got a Halloween in crossover yep. campaign coming up in about like Halloween ish. Oh. I bet that'll be really fun for you. Good luck tonight. And Brian, it says here that you host your own Twitch channel. Tell us more about that. Yeah, when I'm not uh, appearing on Jeopardy or uh, do we want to do for a living, um, I have my own Twitch channel called Ceramic Dalmatian Entertainment. We uh, stream every Friday night at 9 p.m. Eastern time. And we'd love it if you all would check mm -hmm. it out, if I'm allowed to give the address. Sure. Uh, it is uh, twitch.tv uh, slash Brian Henniger. So B R I A N H E N E G A R. So uh, check us out. We'd love to have you. Mm -hmm. I would love you if okay. you did that. Thank you very, very much. All right. Well, thank you for that, Brian. Uh, good luck to you tonight. And you are still in control of the board. Where would you like to go? All righty. Uh, I believe I will try TV dinners for 1,000. TV dinners for 1,000. Here's the clue. In Killing Utne, an episode of this animated show, the title secret agent can't stop a dinner party assassination. Brian. Who is Archer? That is correct. <laughs> Love that show. Uh, parts of the whole for 200, please. Here's the clue. Style, stigma, stamen. Logan. What is a flower? That is correct. Uh, finish off parts of a hole. Here it is. Keep parapet moat. Brian. What's a castle? That is correct. Okay, uh, 20th century for 600, please. Here's the clue. In August 1992, the U.S. military began relief efforts in this African nation, but soon got involved in inter-clan fighting. Brian. What is Somalia? That is correct. 20th Century America for 800. Here's the clue. This first Disney animated feature had its world premiere on December 21st, 1937. Logan. What is Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs? That is correct. Yes. Uh, finish out 20th Century America for a thousand. Here's the clue. A sign at the 1912 Progressive Party Convention read, I want to be one of these with antlers on my forehead. No clue. Correct response there. What is a bull moose? A Logan? Oh, bull moose party. Okay. Uh... Types of streets for 200. Here's the clue. In Baba Black Sheep, the little boy lives down it. Brian. What is down the lane? That is correct. Okay, uh, foreign geographic terms for 200, please. Here's the clue. In French, Isle. Logan. What is an island? That is correct. Um, back to types of streets for four. Here's the clue. D.C.'s Pennsylvania, which has been called America's Main Street. Brian? What is Avenue? That is correct. Uh, types of streets for 600, please. Here's the clue. In Hollywood Hills, Blue Jay. It rhymes. Brian? What is Blue Jay Way? That is correct. Okay, thank you. Uh, types of streets for 800, please. Here's the clue. Lake Shore, home to Chicago's Gold Coast. Brian. What is Boulevard? No, sorry. Mm -mm. Drive is what we were looking for. Drive, okay. Brian. That was one of the other uh, streets for a thousand. Here's the clue. Moret is one, and despite the name, stopping on it is ill-advised. Parkway is what we were looking for. Brian? Yeah, I never understood why you drive on a parkway and park on a driveway. Um, 400, please. Four in geographic terms. 400. Here's the clue. In German, Vulcan. 
Logan. What is a volcano? That is correct. Well, now, uh, 800, same category. Here's the clue. In Spanish, playa. Brian. What is a plane? No, sorry. Jake. What is a beach? That is correct. And the final clue. In Italian, fiume. Brian? What is a river? That is correct, and that brings us to the end of the Jeopardy round. Jake is at minus 400, Logan is at 1600, and Brian is at 18,000, or not 8,400. 8, we'll be back right after this with the double Jeopardy round. We are back with the Double Jeopardy round. Uh, Drake, you get to start us off. Okay. Two Daily Doubles hit them on these six categories. First, also found in the classroom. Next, field trip. Notice the quotation marks. Then we'll go to some general science. Rhymes with duck. Signs and symbols, and finally, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to confiscate that. Jake, where are we starting? Um, let's see signs and symbols 400. Signs and symbols 400, here's the clue. Yield traffic signs are in this geometric shape and painted red around the perimeter. Brian. What are circles? No, sorry. Logan. What are triangles? That is correct. Um, signs and symbols are eight. Here's the clue. This symbol added to telephone keypads in the 1960s is called an octothorpe because it has eight pointed ends. Brian. What is the pound sign or the hashtag? That is correct. Okay, I'm going to have to confiscate that for 400, please. Here's the clue. You say there's no danger in this scooter that sounds like it moves just off the ground. Still, no riding it in class. Brian. What's a hoverboard? That is correct. Uh, confiscate that for 800, please. Here's the clue. No more words with friends on your phone, which is now mine. Play this tiled Hasbro board game later on your own time. Brian. What is Scrabble? That is correct. Um, confiscate that for 1200 please. Here's the clue. You love this actress who is the lead in The Fault in Our Stars, but a poster of her in our class is inappropriate. <laughs> Shailene Woodley is the actress we were looking for. Brian? Uh, confiscate that for 1600 please. Daily Double. How much would you like to wager? 4,000. 4,000. Okay, for 14,000 if you are correct. Anna Kendrick was cute singing and playing with cups in this movie, but it's annoying during trig class. Hand him over. What is pitch perfect? That is correct. Uh, and close out, uh, confiscate that for 2,000, please. Picture clue, take a look at your monitors. I'm sure the Comedy Central show hosted by this guy is very funny, but you can't watch it on your tablet in class. Brian. Who is Nathan Fiedler? No, sorry. 
Daniel Tosh is the man we were looking for. Tosh, Brian? Yeah. Okay, um... I'm almost afraid to pick this, but rhymes with duck for 1200. Here's the clue. A Daihatsu Hijet or a Fiat Strata? Brian. What is a... Oh, I lost it. Sorry. Jake? What is a truck? That is correct. You're out of the oh. hole. Let's go. Um... General Science 400. Here's the clue. This scale is measured in values from 0 to 14, with 7 being neutral. Brian. What is the pH scale? That is correct. Okay, uh, General Science 4800. Here's the clue. Thrust propels the weight of an airplane forward. This directly opposing force tends to hold it back. Brian. What is drag? That is correct. Uh, General Science 1200, please. Here's the clue. Six noble gases were discovered between 1894 and 1900, with argon being the first and this one, RN, the last. Brian. What is radon? That is correct. Uh, General Science for 1600, please. Here's the clue. Sodium hypochlorate... N-A-O-C-L is the main ingredient in this laundry product. Brian. What is chlorine bleach? That is correct. Yeah, for household bleach. Uh, science for 2000. Here's the clue. These white blood cells that have a single well-defined nucleus are the largest blood cells. Brian. What are leukocytes? No, sorry. What are monocytes? Oh. Monocytes. Brian? Okay, okay. Uh, signs and symbols for 1,200, please. Signs and symbols for 12. Here's the clue. Like Athena, Minerva, the Roman goddess of wisdom, was depicted with, with this bird as her symbol. Brian. What's a dove? No, sorry. Logan. Oh, what is an owl? That is correct. Oh, yes. Logan? All right. Um, signs and symbols for 1600. Here's the clue. The company that makes this tool trademarked its cross and shield symbol in 1909. Logan? Mm. What is Schwinn? I don't know. Sorry. No, sorry. Brian? What is the Swiss Army knife? That oh. is correct, and that brings us to our third commercial break. Oh. We'll be back Damn right it. after these messages. Okay, we are back with more Jeopardy. Brian, you have control. Where would you like to go? Okay, signs and symbols for 2000, please. Picture clue, take a look at your monitors. The symbol seen here represents this on a music score. Jake. Was crescendo. That is correct. Oh my god. Where would you like oh to go? My god. I, I, I'm sorry, I, was, I, was, I wasn't expecting you to get that. Um, Classroom 400. Classroom 400, here's the clue. After a few years inactive, the Doomsday One moved in a pessimistic direction in 2017. Brian. What's a clock? That is correct. 
Uh, rhymes with duck for 1600, please. Here's the clue. Explosive sounding forward phrase meaning return on an investment. Brian. What is bang for your buck? You certainly got it here. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, duck for 2000, please. Here's the clue. Courage. Brian. What is pluck? That is correct. Okay. Uh, also found in the classroom, 1200, please. Here's the clue. Arnold Schwarzenegger got this title nickname in a 1996 movie because he made people's pasts disappear. Brian. What is eraser? That is correct. Uh, 1600, please, classroom. Here's the clue. Cliffs made of this form of soft, fine-grained white limestone rise on both sides of the Strait of Dover. Brian. What is chalk? That is correct. Uh, and classroom for 2000, please. Here's the clue. No. A covert operation by one country's operatives pretending to be from another country is a false this attack. Brian. What is false flag? That is correct. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry. Um, field trip for 400. Here's the clue. From Chicago, this state capital is a straight shot down I-55. Brian. What is Springfield, Illinois? That is correct. Uh, field trip 800, please. Here's the clue. AKA Athletics. This competition is made up of as many as two dozen events. Brian. What is track and field? That is correct. <laughs> Only thing worse than track is field. Uh, 1,200, please, field trip. Here's the clue. It's basically a vole with a longer tail. Brian. What's a field mouse? That is correct. Uh, 1,600, field trip. Here's the clue. Decent but dull. John Q. Arbuckle owns this comic strip animal. Brian? Who is Garfield? That is correct. Uh, field trip for 2000, please. The other Daily Double. How much would you like to wager? 10,000. 10,000. Here is the clue. In Matthew 27, it's the burial spot for paupers. What is Potter's Field? That is correct. My God. <laughs> Where would you like to go? Uh, in the classroom, 800, please. Here's the clue. Term for anything transparent and rounded. The snow type is a popular souvenir. Brian. What is a globe? That is correct. Uh, rhymes with duck for 800, please. Here's the clue. Grub or vittles. Charlie. Brian? What is Chuck? That is correct. And the final clue. Two word phrase for a novice's good fortune. Jake. What is luck? More specific, please. Oh, what is beginner's luck? That is correct. I, I, and that I brings us. That brings us to the end of the double jeopardy round. All three of our players will be, will be participating. Players, here's final. Here's the clue for Final Jeopardy tonight. The Constitution. Players, make your wagers. We'll be back right after this.
one. All of our players have made their wagers. Clue is the Constitution. They're not clue. Category is Constitution. Players, here's the clue. Just 37 words. It's in the article on the executive branch and is the only part of the Constitution that is in quote marks. 30 seconds. Good luck. And that is time. Logan, we go to you first with 1600. Let's see your response. What is Article 14? I'm sorry, but that is incorrect. How much did you wager? You wagered all of it. That brings you down to zero. Jake, we go to you next with 3200. What did you say? What, it, what, what is, why did I wager most of my money clause? I'm sorry, <laughs> but that is incorrect. How much did you wager? Thirty-one ninety-nine. That brings you down to a buck. Brian, we go over to you now with thirty-seven thousand six hundred. What did you say? What is the presidential oath of office? That is correct. How much will you be adding? Twelve thousand four hundred. That brings you to an even fifty thousand. And Brian, your hey not. So, oh hey not. I did the wrong plus. And Brian, your two-day cash winnings total 65200 and you will be coming back next week. Good game, everybody. Please, please, that was a game. But until then, I'm Samuel H. speaking for Jeopardy. If you like this video, please comment, subscribe, like, and join us on the GSC Studios Discord for your chance to go against our champ. Until then, we'll see you next time. announcer Patrick Murphy saying so long. Promotional consideration brought to you by Ceramic Dalmatians Entertainment Studios. Please make sure you join their Discord server and stay tuned for them every Friday evening, 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific, for Twitch who wants to be a millionaire. Hosted by yours truly, Brian Hennifer.